Good evening and welcome to Jodie's Food for Thought where today we're going to be talking about loose skin. It's a problem for thin people, thin girl problems, thin boy problems, or should I say slim boy problems, slim girl problems. Um, it's a huge thing, huge, 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 purely because from my personal experience, I know when I've got my, to my goal weight before, I've been really disappointed because you kind of expect that you're going to have this great, perfect body that you see on the TV, that you see in the gym, um, and especially in your abdominal area, and it doesn't happen. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, I did post my uh, quite revealing photos um, of my before and after, and you could see that there's a big skin fold missing from my photo. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I did have a tummy and butt tuck on the NHS in 2005. And what they did is cut from my body nine pounds of flesh um, they cut around basically a circle from my tummy. They took my belly button off, uh, cut all the way around, lifted my butt cheeks up, um, and also uh, obviously cut away some skin at the front, that big skin fold that you may have seen on that before photo. Um, and then they put my belly button back. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is just to show you what I am watching. So if there's any children watching, you may not watch want them to see this and also if you get upset by things like this because you are going through this you may not wish to see it guys i always remember when i went on channel 4's the fit farm and i spoke to a lot of like 20 30 stone people and when i did my talk and showed them my tummy um this girl in particular really started crying as well so it is i know it's a really touchy subject with some people so if you don't want to see it guys please turn off now so, let me show you what they did to me. So, you can see down here, look, that I've got a, quite a thin waist where they actually did the cut. Now they cut just here, you can see that, and then they cut all the way around, and you can see they cut under there, and they cut up there, look, you can see the line. Now, I'll talk about the disadvantages, but you can see it's quite, it's quite clean, really. And if I show you my belly button, you can see I've got a really weird belly button, because this is where they cut it. You can see they went right up to there, and then they've stitched me a new belly button back on there. So that is my tummy tuck. It goes from there all the way up, and then it went round, all the way round. I'll show you this side. And you can see, this is why I've got that weird line at the back. Now, the disadvantages, right, this, this is normally quite a funny thing. If you look at the back here, I've now got a permanent builder's butt. So if you have a look at this, you can see my natural bum line is higher than it should be. And a lot of people say to me, oh, pull your trousers up. I can see your arse crack, when actually it's because I have an unnatural bottom crack which is really really high and this is one of the disadvantages. The other disadvantage of having um, skin removed is it was so painful. I cannot tell you the pain. When I first had it done and they were trying to get me to walk I stood up and I fainted because the pain was so bad. I remember waking up guys and just moving just like ah! and when the girl was taking my I had like a 300 stitches I think, 300 staples in my body, there's a video on my YouTube. When I actually had those took out, it was like the worst pain ever and I was just like begging the girl, please, slowly, slowly, slowly. I was like, put me to sleep. <laughs> Maybe I'm just weak, I can't take pain. Um, but what I want to say is, having gone through the trauma, I know it's an advantage that I no longer have that skin fold, um, but the disadvantage is the fact that my body is now not a right shape. So if you have a look at my tummy here, you can see basically the doctor admitted to me that he was physically tired. He'd done eight hours work and he couldn't do any more, so he left this bit here. You can see I've got a weird bit here. He actually left that bit there because he physically couldn't do any more to me. So there is lots of disadvantages of these things. Um, 
And what I would say is, if you look at my arms now, Obviously, you've, you may see my breasts all the time moving around. And my other area, which I'm not really happy about, but I'll speak to you in a minute, is obviously my inner thighs. And you can see there, I know this is a, a problem that a lot of people have got, but it is, um, it's going to happen with weight loss. And unfortunately, you know, as much as you go to the gym, you can improve the situation, but you're never going to have muscles so big in your abdominals to stretch that skin. And I probably, you could have sort your arms out if you had massive arms, and also um, your legs, unless, even if you had huge legs, you're never going to get your inner thighs big, because that's actually meant to be a small area part of your body. So what I like to say is, just to accept your body and just be happy with it. Um, you know when you wear clothes and no one can tell to be honest with you um, and I know confidence why sexually when you're naked with your partner or just being naked when you go to um, swimming stuff like that then unfortunately it is something you have to live with um, and as you know I'm I'm not, I wouldn't say I was happy about it, but you know, I just accept it and just get on with life. You know, although I make a joke about wearing those tights, when, I'm, when I dress up for my classes, those tights are really important because they, they pull in all my skin and they make me feel great. Um, so although I joke about wearing tights, they're actually very, very practical when I'm teaching and jumping around because they do hold in all the skin and actually make me look bloody good. <laughs> So for those of you that are worried about loose skin out there, I just want to give you some reassurance that, to be honest with you, most people have loose skin and it's just something, unfortunately, we have to accept and live with. Should you have the money to be able to have the surgery, uh, the question I would give to you is, where do you stop? because once you start having this surgery, uh, if you see some of my earlier videos, I was going on about, oh, I'm planning to have this, I'm planning to have this, I'm planning to have this. A, financially, B, pain-wise, and B, you know, you're never gonna be perfect. Like, you know my teeth, my crooked teeth? I actually quite like it. I'm not perfect, but it's, you know, it's part of me. So I think it's really important to start accepting yourself um, and just work around, live around your imperfections, whether it means, you know, you do wear a black t-shirt when you're working out to stop your uh, uh, man boobs shaking around, if you're me. Um, but, you know, you're just making your body and your life as comfortable as possible. Um, don't pin your hopes on losing weight, giving you the perfect body, because unfortunately it's not going to happen. But 90% of your life, you'll be really happy when you've got clothes on. You really will love it. If you've got any uh, questions or comments about loose skin, feel free to share. Uh, Maureen, both brave and really good for you. Show others the disadvantages of losing weight, but the advantages are great and you look fantastic. Thank you so much, Maureen. Sharon, well said, it's important to like yourself, but I still hate my bingo wings. For the first time ever, so one year I've been teaching, for the first time ever this week I've been wearing a short top and actually got my bingo wings out shaking everywhere. Um, and they didn't look as bad as I thought they would in the mirror, but I think a, a, a few people in my classes were like, what the? <laughs> You know, because when I wear a t-shirt, my body actually looks quite good. So for them to see my imperfections, I think was a little bit shocking. But, you know, this is the real deal, guys. This is to do with weight loss. And unfortunately, you are going to deal with these things. Now, regarding exercise, guys, because I know it's really, really important. A lot of people think that exercise can solve this problem. If you have put on maybe two, three stone, then yes, exercise can help this problem but if you've gone five stones overweight six anything above that then it's very highly unlikely that the elasticity is the chemical uh, in your body is going to shrink and go back to normal so you know it's really important to um, gauge your expectations you shouldn't expect going to the gym is going to give you a perfect body however saying that um, you can lock look a whole lot better when you exercise. You know, I love my big thighs. Like when we're doing legs, bums and tummies tonight and we're doing the leg exercise, I'm lifting up. I can see my big thigh muscles and they look bloody great. So again, just just focus on your the great parts of your body and not necessarily the weak 
parts of your body. As always, guys, feel free to comment and feel free to ask any questions. We always talk about lots of different things here. Uh, these are my new jodybunting.com t-shirts. So if you would like to join up to my mailing list to find out more about loose skin and everything else we talk about from food, diet, exercise, then go to jodybunting.com, enter your email address and subscribe to my mailing list. I send out every Sunday evening. It's back to my sparkling water this evening. Bye for now. Don't have nightmares. <laughs>